What's up everybody? Welcome back to another one here on Chasing Green. It is finally here. Man, it's been a brutal summer, but it is September. Hunting season is starting to open up all across the country. Dove season, early teal season, early honkers. I'm ready for it. Uh, I hope all you get to get out and enjoy something in the outdoors soon. I'm pumped up today. I've been getting stuff ready all day because this here shortly, I'm going to be meeting up with Alan from Black Belt Waterfowl. He's been on the channel before and we're going to be headed northwest to Nebraska to get after some teal. Now I've never been to Nebraska hunting but he spent a few days there last year uh, during big duck season. But we're basically just going to be freelancing on some public land just the way I like it. Uh, we've been studying the maps all the past few months and we're just going to go hope for the best. I'm going to hunt with him for about four days and then he's got to head back home but I'm going to hop in with Joel Strickland from Surviving Duck Season, Elliot from Freelance and Aiden from Cherry Creek Outdoors and we're going to go hit the public land for the teal. So the next few weeks are going to be action packed. You don't want to miss it. Hopefully it's going to be a real good time lord willing hey, i'm still getting stuff together we're going to drive through the night tomorrow's the day before season so we're going to try to get there before daylight and scout through the day and hopefully get something lined up for opening day but i got to get busy here so i'll catch you when alan gets here oh man it's like four o'clock in the morning somewhere in northwest missouri We've been on the road all night. Alan picked me up about eight o'clock or so. We don't like much and we'll be at our destination. I foresee a nap in my future. made it into Nebraska. Uh, we just got to the hotel that we're staying at. It's about eight. It's about eight o'clock. We finally made it. I may have slept five or six hours last night, but a lot more than what Alan got. <laughs> he drove all the way through. I've been up since 9.15 yesterday. About one more hour, I'll be on 24 straight. He wants to scout all day, so I said I'm down. <laughs> I guess we're going to go pick up some stuff from Walmart, get a few supplies, and then we'll be getting on Onyx and hitting, going from place to place until we find them. Hold up right here. I don't know. I see him. I can't tell what they are, can you? It looks like a big, solid brood of Millards. But now there, I see some on the water that look pretty small. They might be. Yeah, there were some in this corner over might here. Might be teal. Oh, and I see the teal. Where? Far left corner. Oh, yeah. You see them now? Yeah. So like we always talk about, we're doing the same thing that we always do when we go on these traveling public land trips. We spend all off season, me and Alan's been going back and forth for the past few months on Onyx, just mapping stuff, pinning stuff. He's been up here before, like I said, so he already had some stuff pinned, but it, it, it all boils down to the same thing. We map out our route and then we go put boots on the ground and see what the places actually look like. You can only tell so much from looking at it on your phone or from satellite. So we had this place marked, we pulled up to it, there's ducks on it, about half of them's mallards, half of them's teal. So we're going around now to try to get a better look, but that's basically gonna be our day. We're gonna go check out all the pins that we've pinned on our maps and, and when we find what we're looking for, or what we like, we're looking for lots of ducks obviously, but also a good place to get hid and good open water for filming, all those type things. But uh, we're just gonna keep looking, find as many places as possible we want to plan A, B, C, D, E, F, G. We have no idea how many people are going to be out here in the morning, so we're going to look as, for as many places as possible. Somebody's already been here this morning. Fresh tire tracks. That's what I love about a fresh rain. When we find a place we want to get a better look at, we try to look at it from all angles. The gravel kind of made a loop around this thing, so we looked at it from every angle possible in the truck, and now we're walking in to, to see what we can see from the ground. Looks like about 18. I see some in the grass. Thank <laughs> you. 
lot of teal out here. A pattern I'm starting to recognize though is there's been trucks at all the places that we've looked or at least truck tracks and it's gonna be hard to get hit. So uh, not much cover out here at all. Short cover and not much cover. There was a good hunter teal out here though. I mean, that's a good start. It's probably 10 o'clock in the morning, so. That's never what you want to see. Hey man, good luck to you, buddy. Good luck to you guys too. Well, that's not what you want to see. No, it's not. That done broke out the campers on us, man. Yep. Right out here behind me. It's definitely the best find of the day so far. I'd say there's 60 teal out there. We think it's some green wing and blue wing mixed together. It's really hard to tell what they are. At first we thought they were mallards, then we thought they were shovelers, but they got up and started flying around and, and we could definitely tell once they started moving that they're all teal. Uh, but this is the best find so far because it's got the best hide around it, which is a huge factor. Plus it's really small, like you can shoot across the whole thing, which means if we get it, no one else can come in on us. So this is number one for me so far, I'm digging. It. Literally a 30 yard walk. <laughs> like, if I wanted to, I think I might could kill one from here. Well, as we we're pulling off from them, that last group of ducks, a truck pulled in behind us and pulled off and was looking at them too. So, it looks like no matter what we do, we're not going to be able to get away from pressure. We're definitely going to be fighting people in the morning, it looks like. We've seen everywhere we've seen ducks and water, we've seen people. Well, we pulled up to another one. Guys here <laughs> got all this stuff out. I don't know, it's, it's a lot of people, a lot of people. I don't know what we're going to do. This is, this is definitely a, a kink in the plan. There's just people everywhere camping. I mean, we've seen just as many camped out on holes. I mean, and it's four o'clock the day before season opens. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. Most of them are right out there, but that's the middle, so if you couldn't get there, you 
the best chance to probably be out there. Right. But there was one truck over there watching. Now there's a different truck over there watching just since we've been sitting here. <laughs> Plus the guy that co opted in with us is leaving now. Well, this kind of complicates things, fellas. <laughs> About two or three hundred just got up over here that we couldn't see. There's hundreds of teal out here. Uh, we couldn't see them. Big bald eagle flew over, got them all up. This is one of those things where this is a bigger marsh. It's huge. Uh, it's lots of ducks in it, but it's it's gonna be lots of people, no doubt. It's one of those things, do you go for the smaller place with less birds and try to hold it down yourself? Or do you come to the big area with more ducks and fight the crowd? That's the decision we're gonna have to make. Another camper. Insanity. I thought we were hardcore. Yeah. In freaking sanity, man. I see three. Three trucks. Whatever. Oh, they're doing. camping. Campers. We've ended our. Hold on, let me get you guys straight here. We've ended our epic vehicle journey. I got on the road last night at about eight o'clock. It's like 7.30 the next afternoon and we're finally stopping to chill. So we found a lot of spots, but we really kind of found two that stood out. We found one really small spot that wasn't just loaded with ducks. It probably had 50 or 60 teal on it, but it was only big enough for one group. So if we can get that, we won't have to worry about pressure. And trust me, you will be worried about pressure up here on opening day. If we have not learned anything today, it's that people are serious about teal hunting in Nebraska. So we're gonna to try to get that hole. The wind's gonna be perfect for it. Everything's gonna be great for it if the ducks do right. But if for some reason someone's camping there, like all the other marshes, we're gonna to go to a big marsh we found, which is one of the last ones we were at. There were hundreds of teal on this one, but I have to believe that there's gonna be just as many groups packed in as possible if we can get a spot out there great if we can't we're just going to come back and get breakfast chill and go out there at like nine ten o'clock and just hunt all day um after everybody's left i mean that's literally about the only thing you can do there's just not enough spots for all the people so but this opening day that's expected that's just how it goes and you just got to roll with the punches and that's what we're going to try to do so we got three game plans hopefully one of those three works out and if for some reason none of that does there's a whole another area that we we haven't even been to yet so we need to go scout that as well but hopefully we'll see you guys in the morning and we're going to be putting a beat down on the blue wings